Hello percussionists, welcome to pages 14 and 15 of book 3, except for you, <laughs> it's just page 14. Um, it's just, you're going to do exercises number 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, that's it. 70 and 71 on page 14 you don't do, and then on page 15 it's all traps. Okay, well actually, not really, but the Star Spangled Banner we're kind of skipping over and it's just a long roll, you don't need to do it. Okay, we're going to learn a rudiment called the Four Stroke Rough, which you've already done <laughs> accidentally. I'll explain it to you in the video, but it's what you were accidentally playing when we asked you to play the Drag Rudiment. Well, now you finally get to learn the Four Stroke Rough, okay? And that will keep you plenty busy, but we're just doing five exercises, that's it. This won't take very long. Okay, so we'll take a quick break and then get to our lesson, and then we'll get right back here for the wrap-up. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with the lesson. Okay, we start with number 65, scale and arpeggio. Now, here is, this was alluded to a couple weeks ago, here is the four-stroke rough, and this is why I call a drag a rough sometimes, and not a drag. Okay, here's why. This is a four-stroke rough. Now, this is what some of you were doing uh, accidentally earlier in the year when I wanted you to do a three-stroke drag. You were doing this instead. Now, to do this right, it's three notes before the beat. Um, this is a case where um, I'm going to have to show you during a live lesson or somehow uh, you can figure this out on your own, but you have to drop the sticks from different heights and make four strokes like... Okay, and that'll make four strokes. This is a technique that is actually used in the beginning of the 1812 Overture by uh, Tchaikovsky with, at the first statement of because I saw the snare drum music with the Bakersfield Symphony and it's got this exact same rudiment. All right, so the four stroke rough again is four strokes. Just take the sticks, put one above the other and drop them at the same time. Until you get four. Get a 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 get a. Let's do number four. Uh, six, I'm sorry, sixty-five scale in arpeggio. One, two. Here we go, Ren. Let's play. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one. Let's do that one more time, okay? Let's play in case that wasn't clear. One more time, here we go. 65, scale and arpeggio, one more time. One, two, and ready, and go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one. 66, exercise in thirds. Same rudiment, four stroke rough, ready? 66, let's play it, we don't need to Walk you through it. One, two, ready and go. One and two and three and four. 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 Now again, it will take practice to get those four stroke rows perfectly clean. We'll take a break and go to the next two exercises right after this. Stay tuned. Okay, 67 arpeggio study. Again, we'll just Read right through this. Um, rup, bup, 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 rup. Rest. Here we go. 67. Let's play it. Four stroke roughs again. One, two, ready, and go. Rest. 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 Now again, practice these four stroke roughs and perfect the technique. Here we go for 68, two part etude. So you have the four stroke rough with the eighth notes, but then the sixteenth notes are just like how you've always done them. Here we go, ready? 68, one, two, ready and go. One.
Now again, as with these two part etudes, please do not go too fast with the eighth notes because you have to, of course, proportionately play the sixteenth notes twice as fast. Quick break and then we'll get to the last exercise. Stay tuned. Okay, our last exercise is number 69, chromatic scale. It's all flams and the four-stroke rough. Okay, again, we don't need to sight read it, just let's do it. Just like 12 flams and a four-stroke rough. Here we go, ready? One, two, and ready and go. And flam, 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 rough. Rest, repeat, flam, flam. Flam, 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 rough. And that's it. That's our last one. Page 15 is all traps. We're done. We're going to wrap up this lesson on the other side of this commercial break. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, that was quick and easy, wasn't it? Now, you've got to work at that four-stroke rough. Now, some of you were doing them accidentally earlier this year, a couple weeks ago, when we introduced the, the drag Actually, that's not introduced at this level. It's reinforced at this level. It's actually taught uh, in the intermediate level in book two, but it's reinforced at this level. And I noticed a couple of you were not precise in three strokes. Well, now these are four strokes. Okay, gotta get up. Gotta get up. You've got to take your sticks from different heights and drop them together. You can start your sticks here, one or this way, whichever way you wish. Just drop them from different heights and blah, blah. They each go ba 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 ba. When you put the two together, it'll be ba 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 ba. Get a get up. Get a get up. Get a get up. Get a get up. But you've got to work at it and perfect it, which I know you kids will do. Okay? So just that's how that'll go this week, okay? So learn the four stroke rough. That's pretty much it. And again, you don't do beyond number 69, that's it. 70, 71. And 72 and 73 are no go this week. Okay, just don't don't mess with them. So 65 through 69, that's it. Have a great week, and I believe the following week we're going to go back to one page per week, at least for the foreseeable future. But this is just another case where we could double up the pages because page 14 is a scale page for the wins, and it just this was the right thing to do. So starting with 16, I think we'll go back to one a week. So this is Mr. Pickett here. Have a great week and work hard as always and have fun. Take care. We'll see you next week.